Hey, John Bond here from Storm Fitness Academy, slowly cooking away in the sun. Anyway, we've been chatting loads uh, amongst the team about periodization. And the reason we've been chatting loads about this is because um, it's part of the fitness instruction course that we deliver, the personal training course. Um, and we've been sort of um, arguing to some extent as to whether actually periodization is necessary for beginners. Um, so for those of you who don't know, periodization is a, a very, very posh word or technical word for long-term planning, basically. And the reason we do this long-term planning, it's very carefully thought out planning and systematic planning, is to avoid overtraining and to avoid plateaus and to ensure progression. So when we train, that's what we want. We want to see gains, we want results, we want progress. And periodization is a way of preempting any uh, regression in that progress, I guess. And this, this careful systematic planning means that we can um, hopefully get the best out of our training. Now, when you first start training, uh, if you're particularly sedentary, so you basically don't move a great deal, and then you start going to the gym and you start lifting weights or you start doing some cardio, uh, you get what you what we call newbie gains. So newbie gains, oh newbie gains, I miss those days. Newbie gains is basically where you don't even have to think too intelligently about what you're doing. Just get in that gym, chuck some weights around, do some cardio, and you're going to get some gains. Now it's great. I mean, you get you, you find every single session as long as you're challenging yourself, you're coming back a little bit fitter. But it doesn't last forever, unfortunately. Um, so this is where the argument comes from, well, you know, if you're, if you're a newbie and you're getting newbie gains, do you need this periodization, this systematic, careful consideration, planning? Um, well, we've thought long and hard about this and we've come down with an answer. Yes, you do. The reason for this is we want to avoid plateaus, don't we? So if we say, right, just, you know, follow a program, crack on with it, just keep doing that, come back to us when you've stopped making gains. Then that's, you've had some wasted workouts there. So why wait until you're no longer making any gains? And why wait until you start overtraining and hurting yourself? Why wait till you start going backwards before you start considering some long-term planning? So we think periodization is for everyone. Well, sorry, I correct myself. Not for everyone, but for everyone who wants to make gains, which probably is everyone. 